Creating consistent characters like these just got easier with the new consistent character custom GPT for ChatGPT+. Hello and welcome. This is the first video in a series of three videos that will show you how to create consistent characters for a children's storybook and short animation video. Today, I will show you how to generate the character using the new GPT and create an outline of the story. In the second video, I will create the storyboard, interior, and cover of the book in Canva for upload to Amazon KDP. Finally, I'll create an animated video of the book using Pika Labs, Canva, and Eleven Labs. Let's get started. Before creating the character in Chatty GPT, let's create a general outline of the story and a character description. I'm going to write the story myself, but you can create the story using Chat GPT if you like. The story is about a young African-American girl named Lisa, who sometimes feels lonely and sad, but finds happiness in the things she loves to do alone. The description of Lisa is as follows. Lisa is a beautiful eight-year-old African-American girl with big brown eyes, curly black hair and a ponytail, wearing a plain red hoodie, black jeans and black boots with black laces. I'm going to keep it simple and create just a few scenes for the book and video like Lisa sad in the school hallway and happy sitting under a tree. Now, go to ChatGPT. You will need the Plus membership to use Dalle 3 and custom GPTs. It costs $20 per month. You have the option to use GPT 3.5 or 4. Choose 4. Go to the side panel and click Explore GPTs. Search for Consistent Character. Click on this one. Click here to start creating the images. The GPT will ask a series of questions about your character. The character will be female. Her name is Lisa. Now, I need to share details about the character, like race, hair type, and color, and clothes. I'll copy and paste the description I made earlier. What style would I like for the image? I'll enter Pixar. It might take a minute to create the image. This image is nice and she has most of the things I asked for, except her hair is not in a ponytail. Now the GPT asks if I would I like to vary anything in the image. I would like to vary her expression, action, and pose. First, I'll try some simple expressions and actions. Let's have Lisa happily walking. She looks a little different from the first image, and now her hair is in a ponytail. Her outfit is still the same, but she has an earring that I didn't specify. But overall, the image looks good. For the next variation, let's have Lisa reading a book. This is nice and consistent, except now she has some black straps over her shoulders, probably a book bag. I generated a few more images with different expressions, actions, and poses. Some were consistent and some weren't. Then I tried to have Lisa walking in a park. It didn't work. There is no park and Lisa's face looks a little different. Then, every time I asked to have Lisa walking in a park, it would return an inconsistent character. Whenever I tried to place her in a more complex environment like riding on a bus, I would get a different looking Lisa. After interacting with this GPT, I learned a few things. One, it does a good job in generating consistent characters, but they might vary from image to image, and sometimes it might return obviously different looking characters. Two, the GPT might return inconsistent images the more prompts it is given. And three, for a better chance of producing consistent characters, create a character sheet like this, that is comprised of your character with different expressions and actions. It is best to do this before the GPT starts to give inconsistent images. Then you can generate the background separately and add your character to them in an image editor. I also created some backgrounds for my book and video with DALA 3 and Chat GPT Plus. 
I use the 16 to 9 aspect ratio because they will be used in a YouTube video and they will span across two pages of the book, which I'll be creating in the next videos. Now, I will download all of the images I like. After downloading your images, you should upscale them to get the best quality. I am going to skip this step, but there are free upscalers online that you can use. Even though I couldn't get a consistent character in all of the scenes I wanted, I have some good consistent images I can use. Stay tuned for the next video in the series, where I will edit the images and create the interior and book cover for the storybook for upload to Amazon KDP. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you found this video informative. Thank you for watching.